I think you need people like him to get the crowd going. Well, I was sitting in uh, the back of SK1 today and even I could see him and I could hear him banging away. When people first see me, they think I'm a tattoo thug. They think I'm a hooligan. They think I'm a doorman. They think I'm a debt collector. But if, if they at least give me five minutes to talk to them, they would totally realise that I'm nothing like that at all. And it really uh, gets the fans going and um, it keeps us going all the way to the finish line. To have somebody sort of inspirational like that is, is, is good. Somebody to follow, um, somebody whose commitment is obviously to the team and to the club is really good. As soon as you're in with that drum, that it, it livens it all up. Jobber, I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a legend throughout the city, you know. He beats a drum, he gets the crowd going without him and the likes of him, you know, you wouldn't have... Well, you wouldn't have a football club. So when you say about how important the supporters, they are the ultimate. No supporters, no football, no nothing. In Leicester, England, football fan Lee Jobber is known throughout the city for his passion, distinctive game day attire, and most of all, for beating the drum for the team. I got a phone call from somebody at the club. Do you know what to play a drum for us? I said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I said, I'll give it a go. So I was petrified, absolutely petrified. And I got onto the stand, and as soon as I got the drumstick in my I've never hit a drum before in my life. So uh, I, I thought, what do I do? What do I play? So I played something really basic. And as soon as I hit the drum for the first time, I just automatically sobered up straight away. And all these people just turned around looking at me, and I was like, wow. And then I just got into the, I got into the rhythm of things, and I just started doing things that I'd, I'd never even dreamed of doing. Because the buzz was like 30,000 people just looking up at me like I was centre of attention. And I thought to myself, this is a bit surreal. And from that day and that night time, I went out and I was buzzing, and I got a phone call from the club saying, how oh, did you get on? Did you enjoy it? I said, yeah, yeah, when's the next game? Can I do it next game? And I was like, yeah, of course you can. And from that day on, I've just done it ever since, really. So it's probably yeah, six years, I think. No We had a great fan base, and people like Jobber, you know, they're the heart and soul of the football club. I might be the figurehead, but Leicester City fans are Leicester City Football Club. He gets that blooming great big drum, it's nearly as big as him, there's nothing as big as Jobber, you know, I mean, he's, he takes some stick, basically, from visiting fans or wherever he goes, because obviously his size, but he's a great lad. I mean, he looks menacing, doesn't he? You know, great big lad with the tattoos and that. It's nothing like that. He's soft as anything. I would think most football clubs have got a Jobber, and he's our man. He's just an important part of our team as the guys that's in that dressing room now ready to come out. You know, it's part of the team. That's what we are. We're all a part of a team, you know. You can't function. One can't function without the other. The ultimate, of course, is your team out on the pitch, but it's the rest of the people. It's the team, and that applies to every football club in this country. There is a team behind the team, and that's important.